This is Organic Beauty. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys. I'm back. <laughs> and guess who's here? Little baby Alex. All right. So I am going to wait till he gets a little older to maybe show him. A couple of people have asked if they can see him. I'll probably post a picture up towards the end of this vlog. But right now I'm on my mommy duties. And he's here. And he'll be approaching his second month in a couple of weeks. So uh, we're so excited to have him. He's such a little munchkin. You can see him a little. Um, so I wanted to catch up with you guys because it's been so long. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry <laughs> if, um, I've been taking way too long to post up a vlog. It's just that, um, I'm a first time mom and it was really hard to adapt, especially when I'm limited with help. Like... You guys saw my last vlog like I pushed him out with no medication um, and so it was a raw natural birth so if you didn't see that vlog definitely look at the one um, before this one and um, I didn't really have time to heal they recommend at least for like a natural birth like one week and I didn't I just jumped right into it 100% jump right into it. Just didn't have that help. And um, it just wasn't readily available. I'd say that. We live so far. So, you know, it's hard for people to, like, come and help. But um, we did it. We're still doing it. It is uh, not for the week. Uh, a lot of sleepless nights. I feel very surprised. I looked I look way more awake on camera than I expected. It took time to adjust to it. You know, um, the only advice that I can give is do your best. Just do your best because what worked for me may or may not work for you. But, you know, a lot of people gave advice like, oh, such a schedule, easier said than done. Sleep when he sleeps, <laughs> easier said than done. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's just um, not realistic all the time, with especially sleeping when he's sleeping. It's just not. And I am breastfeeding him which means I'm pumping every two to three hours or nursing him every two to three hours so um he depends on me because we we don't use any type of formula like this is a hundred percent natural organic up in here <laughs> um but motherhood has been so much fun um it's very rewarding I am so happy he's happy too um I just can't believe he's here like I just feel like he was in my tummy forever but now that he's here and I wanted to like drop in with you guys since I do want to do like more of an in-depth vlog um I'm considering doing weekly vlogs because my daily vlogs again is just not realistic with having a baby and scheduling all of that um and I and I don't want to do like baby vlogs all the time like my vlogs are more like fashion based you know what I mean and I kind of want to get back into that um of course I'll implement him every now and then but it's not gonna be like baby vlogs and I'm not interested in doing like family vlogs or anything like that so we'll see how this goes um I got a pretty good response from my last video though however because you know it was like a baby vlog so um that was pretty interesting to see my numbers are pretty good there um, but yeah, I don't even know what to talk to y'all about. Like, here's my plan. So, like, everything that happened in the hospital, I kind of wanted to go a little bit more in depth with that. And then I wanted to show you, like, what I got out of the hospital, like, what they gave me, what I was able to take home, what helped me with the healing process, the things that I use, and all that good stuff. Um... Yeah, so it's been it's been a journey. Oh, he has to burp. You hear him, right? <laughs> um, 
time. Burping sometimes will take a while too, but it'll it'll work out. It'll work out. This boy, he's he's a little active. <laughs> I am going to. Ooh, there you go. All right, I am going to um, give him to his dad so I can really like fo focus on this vlog. But I did want to like at least bring him up on here. So let me go ahead and um, give him to his dad, and I'll come right back. I'm back. All right, <laughs> baby free. Yeah. So um, I wound up giving him to his dad because it's really hard for me to concentrate and try to talk to y'all all at the same time. Um, but like I was saying, yeah, I wanted to do a vlog where I just kind of show you what the hospital gave us, well, me really, and um, show how that helped and it may or may not help you. I brought some stuff, which you guys saw when I packed my bag to go to the hospital. Um, a lot of that stuff, unfortunately, I didn't get to use. You're not really there for that long. I know girls and boys may have a different duration, um, but in reality, I think we were there for maybe like three days and that was only because they didn't do all this testing, but we could have left in like a day or two. Um, you know, but it all depends whether you decide to get your child circumcised, if you have a boy or whatever, you know, if uh, they need to keep them for additional testing, things like that, or maybe they might just be ready um, booked and, you know, everything is pushed back a little bit. So it's case by case basis, but I'd say on average, people are staying there two to three days. I've never heard anybody staying in there more than that, unless there was a special case. Um, but there were some things that they gave us to take home that I found to be extremely helpful um, when it came down to um, the healing process. So yeah, it's not for the week. Our baby was extremely fussy. He didn't like getting his pamper changed. Um, he was crying a lot. And I've seen people that be around our baby and they're like, your baby doesn't cry a lot at all. But to me, it was excessive because I've, I haven't been around anybody's baby. <laughs> so to me, it was like, this is kind of a lot, you know what I mean? And um, I don't know, it just seemed like he was just always like cranky. But you know, you gotta keep in mind, they've been in the womb for like nine months, okay? So they're just used to constantly just being in one place. So one thing that helped a lot was the swaddle. That's another item I'll show on the next vlog. And the swaddle just basically covers them really tight. You know, you can use it up to when they start to roll over, which could vary per child. Um, but it helped because it made him feel like he was like in the womb. So that was um, extremely helpful. Uh, we wound up getting like a crib for him, a bassinet for him, a bunch of other accessories. I'll take you down to um, his nursery because I didn't show you guys. Like I didn't do a nesting vlog or anything. I barely did like a baby shower vlog. So everything just, it just, I don't know. It just was like rush, 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 rush at the last minute. But I'll show you real quick before the vlog is over towards the end of this vlog, his nursery. And it, we're still building on it. He's not even really in there. We use it to like change him and stuff like that, but that's about it. But he's not sleeping in there at all. So um, what we wound up doing was getting like a bassinet for our room um, that he could sleep in there. And we tried to put him straight in the bassinet. He wasn't having it at all. So um, you do have to get other things. And that's another thing I'm going to talk about in the next vlog that will make them feel comfortable to stay in there. And you might want to do it sooner than later if they'll tolerate it. I don't know. Every kid is different. You just got to try your best and work it out. Um, this by far has been the most hardest job I've ever had in my entire life. Like beyond belief. I feel like I haven't slept for like two months. I'm serious, like two months straight. I don't even know how I'm holding on right now, but I can say that it seems to be getting better. Um, sometimes when I should be sleeping, I'm not sleeping because I'm like, is he okay? Like, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know, maybe y'all, listen, I'm over 40, okay? So like all my friends had their kids 20 years ago. So when I was out clubbing, they was being a parent. So now it's reversed. All that disposable time I had between now and then is no more. 
Like, it's not about me no more. It's about the baby, which I love. I, I love that I waited so long to um, become a parent because, you know, you want to choose the right person. You know, you don't really know who you want to get. You only hope that you'll get a good person. But um, that was one of my main um, concerns is that, you know, I had a person that, a partner that wanted to be a dad. And um, my education was extremely important. I wanted to graduate from school, so I got my grad degree. So, you know, I started up a business. Uh, I was able to do a lot of different things. Um, in my 20s, up until now, that way the, the foundation is built, becoming a homeowner, things like that, you know what I mean? So it's just, you know, when you look back, you're like, wow, I accomplished so much. And um, it's been fun, but you know, being a parent now in your forties, it's um, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, but it's very rewarding for me. I just feel like I'm so happy that I decided to do it now because I just don't think I would I, I would have been as focused when I was younger. Me personally, right? Because everybody is different. But the way I was outside. I was outside, okay? Like me and my girls, we would be everywhere. Miami, Vegas, we're at, we was traveling, St. Martin, we was outside. I still have the luxury of working remotely, which is very nice. I still have the luxury of being a business owner, which is very nice. It's just that everything is rush, 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 and do, 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 you know? I, w I do wanna show you guys some tricks in my next vlog tools you can use to get things done around a house when you have a newborn because like trust me they would want you to hold them all day every day how do you effectively get things done I feel like i got a nice little solution so make sure you tune in to the next vlog <laughs> yeah anyway i'm not gonna keep talking for too long because i feel like i've just like said so much and so i'm gonna see y'all in the nursery in a second Okay, I'm in the nursery. All right, so I am going to flip the camera over so that way you guys can see what's in the nursery and then I'll just kind of go over certain things, not everything, because it's going to take forever. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the nursery. So you guys, if you're a veteran, you know that this used to be my walk-in closet, but baby came, so we made it into his little nursery. We did put a flat screen up, which is very helpful. Gracie's Corner is a great channel to watch if you have a little one. Um, he loves that. So I put some stuff up here. I'm still trying to figure out how I want it organized. Um, but we have like a nice little changing pad. I love this changing pad. If you guys want anything that you see in this video, let me know in the comments and I will send you the link. Um, I'm going to post as many links as I can, but this is called Jewel Baby, and you can remove this and wash this, but we also put like a changing pad here because it's just so much convenience just to wipe it up like that, and it does come with like one of these straps to hold in the baby, and it's one on each side. Um, this we had already, but it's just basically like storage, so we just store like blankets, gloves, you know, little mini accessories. I do want to give this away though to somebody. This is a wipe warmer. If you need one, let me know. If you're having a baby, let me know. Just pay for shipping and I will send that to you. But it's brand new. We already have one and it glows. Let me turn off the light. So that's how it looks. It's so cool. And you just put your wipes in there and it warms it up. It is so good.
right, so um, what else do I want to talk to you guys about? I feel like, all right, my weight loss. When I first got pregnant, I was 170, just about. And um, I went up to about 190. And when I gave birth, my first appointment, I want to say it was like a week after the birth, I was 174 or something like that. And then I, when I went back, the next week it was 168. So I actually lost more than when I started. I was happy about that. Um, a lot of it had to do with the water weight from the baby, um, the weight gain from the baby, obviously. And um, when you breastfeed, allegedly, <laughs> you're supposed to lose weight. I don't know if that's true or not. It seems like it's more of a myth because I'm a part of a couple of lactation groups on Facebook. And I asked that question like, hey ladies, do you find yourself losing weight since you're breastfeeding? And I gotta tell you, because I'm a data person, I told you guys, this is what I do as a data scientist. I run that data, okay? Like I'm a walking algorithm at this point. But basically 95% of ladies said, they didn't lose that weight. Some people reported that they lost the weight initially, but because they were breastfeeding, it made them extremely hungry or extremely thirsty. So with that being said, they wind up gaining the weight back. It seems like people are having a hard time maintaining the weight because when you are pregnant, you're, you're kind of limited to what you can eat. But I'm wondering if people are being more health conscious while they're pregnant and they're just not wilding out with what they are eating. Um, and with that being said, they're maintaining a certain level of weight. But then when they actually have the baby, now they just eating whatever, you know what I mean? And then it just comes back. I don't know. I don't know if it's now because, you know, they are best feeding and they are more hungry and they are just eating whatever. Because that's not happening to me. So I can't speak on that. Like, I'm more thirsty than anything. When I say thirsty, I mean like beyond belief, like desert throat straight vegas cactus okay like it's intense so this is what i have right now at this point i'm drinking two of these 128 ounces it's not a game so um i don't know how much i weigh right now <laughs> i gotta i gotta actually go back and check because at some point i was going to the doctor um my ob every week because after i gave birth my blood pressure was high. This whole pregnancy, my blood pressure was regular. So um, it's not abnormal, but they wanted to keep an eye out on it um, to make sure it wasn't like preeclampsia. If you don't know what that means, then kindly Google it. I had to just keep monitoring it at least twice a day, you know, like keeping my numbers morning and night. It was a pain in the butt. Um, worst come though, I didn't have to go on this, but like if they feel is just they might put you on some type of blood thinners i don't know how that all works like i said i didn't have to go through that but like i've seen people that have gotten that and it worked out for them long term you just want to keep an eye on it because a lot of things can happen to you if you don't keep an eye out on your blood pressure so you know i'm not a doctor i'm a data doctor but i'm not a doctor um definitely speak to your ob or your medical professional about all that stuff um but that's just something that to be aware of. I, um, with breastfeeding, I had to figure out a way to do it because I was doing it manually at some point and um, it just quite wasn't working out with holding it on your boob and breast pumping at the same time. You know, it just, <laughs> it was like, okay, what are we doing? Cause like I'm using two hands at this point cause I'm, I'm holding it up and then I'm just kind of pressing it because, you know, depending on if I'm a little hefty, okay? Like, I'm just keeping a book. And it's not something I could just, just put on there. I gotta have another hand for support, okay? I'm trying to keep it peachy here. And um, it just wasn't realistic. So I had to get a bra that I could put on that will hold the suction cups on your areolas so that way you could pump 
effectively. Plus, I only have one manual pump. So could you imagine pumping one boob at a time for 15 minutes, 30 minutes? That is tiring. I mean, I'm talking about six pack in your thumb type tiring. So when I had wound up getting, and I'm not going to say the name or the brand or whatever, because I want y'all to watch the next vlog. When I, when I got the electric one, that was great because it was two pumps. I could just put it on there. It's bulky, but it's effective. And um, the bra I have on right now, um, I'm trying to see if I can maybe show y'all. Let me see. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Oh yeah, I can show y'all. It's not too bad. All right. So let me cover this part. It's definitely mesh here, but this part right here, and I'm not going to move it because you're going to see all my goodies. Uh, actually, I can move it. All right. I'm going to just check it out. All right. I got to keep this closed because I don't want no slips, no nip slips. Okay. So this part right here comes down. So you just kind of push this down. I'm not going to move this, but this has a slit right here and your areola comes out. But <laughs> let me just put this back up, child, because I don't got time. All right. So, but when you move that slit you put the cups in there girls if you don't know what i'm talking about just go on amazon it'll show you whatever like that but yeah so this is how the bra looks it's super fashionable i love it it's mom cozy mom cozy is like one of the best brands of all times and um i love it <laughs> so that's that um what else about breastfeeding i wanted to talk to you guys about it hurts it hurts really bad. Um, that suction is real. You definitely got to brace yourself for it. Um, they have different levels, but I find the most effective level for me and the most fast level is the highest level. But so you know how much your body could take. Don't overexert yourself. Like, like don't, don't do it, you know. Um, but nipple crack definitely helps my, my areolas and was so sore when I first started breastfeeding because you're not used to that. I'm talking about, I felt like it was going to bleed. Like, <laughs> I was like, it's about to bleed. So you might want to alternate the baby from breast to breast if you want to do that. Sometimes I'll give our baby a, a little appetizer. And when I say that, I'll just let him nurse on me. And then I'll um, have pumped milk prepared so while that's heating up his appetizer is the nursing on me right and then i'll transition him to like the bottle also too it's it's helpful that dad gets to um help out right like by me having that bottle he can actually feel like hey i'm included but yeah i wanted him to feel included so with having a bottle ready from me pumping early in the day he can feel included by feeding the baby. So that's very helpful. Um, and also too, I think he could appreciate that, right? Just to share the duties. And for me, it gives me a little bit of a break because it like child, it ain't easy, like I said. But I don't want to hold you guys too much on here. I really wanted to do like a 15 minute vlog, but clearly that didn't work out because y'all know I talk a lot. And I wanted to, I miss y'all. Like I miss doing my vlogs. So I'm just going to have to like squeeze y'all in when I can. I think a weekly vlog would be ideal. I'm definitely going to do one more vlog because I just wanted to show you guys what helped me so far throughout this uh, postpartum era. And um, I do want to show you guys how I look now because you guys have seen me like so <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> but this is now how I look, guys. Yeah. No more belly and everything is getting back to normal. So I am super happy about it. Everything is like lifting and pulling. I do have on my Faja. Y'all know I keep it real. So this is the Faja that I wore before pregnancy. You guys have seen me do a nice little vlog on this before. Let me know if you wanna know where to get this from. This is one of the older ones. You can see certain ones are like missing or little kind of rinky dinky or whatever on here um i don't mind wearing this like around the house but it's definitely sucking everything in i wanted to be one of those ladies that snatched that fast okay like i didn't want 
to be sitting there. I mean, everybody's different, right? Like everybody's body takes as much time as it needs to heal. But I can say that the fastest recovery might be at the natural birth, only because it's just not so abrasive. And um, I was good in like seven days, like really good really 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 good but like i said ladies don't be trying to like sneak in no late night rendezvous with your man because you really should wait those six weeks it's gonna be hard but wait those six weeks before you get become intimate because i remember right after i had our baby i felt like it was trauma and it and it really felt uncomfortable and it and it really hurt you know what i'm saying so i couldn't imagine anything else going in there ever okay um at least no time soon at that time but as the weeks go along, you know, like right now, I am seven weeks just about in my postpartum stage. So everything is good for me. But, you know, just just take care of yourself, you know, focus on you, focus on your healing and everything else will follow. These other things you could do you know what i mean like i'm not saying listen i'm i'm gonna move on okay y'all grown <laughs> one plus one equals two but just take care of your body because you don't want to develop some type of infection because you wanted to rush and i spoke to my brother about it me and my brother have like the closest relationship of all time so he was like sis like i was away those six weeks <laughs> he was like he was going down okay in like three weeks four weeks i was like all right but i'm not <laughs> i can't um so whatever works for y'all you know what i'm saying because his situation was a little different with her because she had a c-section i don't know anything about that so maybe it was just easier for them child but like i wasn't taking no chances ain't they taking no risk you could wait so just make sure y'all take y'all carry yourselves there. I'm moving on. I'm moving on because it's getting a little hot and heavy. <laughs> and I can't wait to talk to y'all again. The next vlog, I'm going to try to get that up sometime this week. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm going to be building up my weekly vlog. My release date, I have not decided what that date will be. Um, but it most likely would be like a Monday, Tuesday-ish. I'm gonna try to stay consistent, but I don't really do a whole lot. I don't really know what to talk to y'all about, show y'all, because again, you know, I got the baby. I like the fashion thing, but I don't really go out and travel a lot or do any fancy thing like these girls are doing. So like, if you guys have recommend recommendations or suggestions of things that you guys wanna see me do or talk about or even demonstrate, whether it's fashion related or baby related, let me know, you know, like I'm open to trying different things. Maybe it's like a cooking blog or let me know what y'all wanna see. We can talk about it. We girly here. We can even do like wig vlogs. I don't care, just let me know. Whatever y'all wanna see, just let me know and we'll take it from there. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye. This is Organic Beauty. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.